Hey, what's going on guys? It's your BFF Snowy Oreo 663 here, right here, right now, and today I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to be playing Bendy and the Dark Revival. This is not something I usually do. I'm not really a gaming YouTube channel. I mostly do movie reviews and ranking stuff now. I became popular due to Bendy. I made the Build Our Machine live action music video, which was approved by the Meatly himself, the creator of Bendy, which... I made that five years ago and it got over two million views and I know it's one of the worst videos you've ever seen. I totally get it. It's awful. That's why I haven't watched it in about four years. But that's coming up on its almost six year anniversary and we've been waiting for this game for so long. It was announced right after chapter five, finished of the first series and now here it is. Do you mind? Now here it is, Bending in the Dark Revival. Oh boy. <laughs> So this is either a sequel or a spinoff. I don't know. I didn't watch any of the trailers. The only thing I know is that we we're playing as a new character called Audrey. If you guys haven't played the original Bendy and the Ink Machine, um, you might want to do that before we get in or at least watch someone else play it. Um, but if not, I have a little recap for you guys. Or if you have played it and like you just need a refresher, here's a quick little recap. If you don't need a recap and you just want to get into the Let's Play, then go to this time right here. Here's a little recap. Chapter 1, Moving Pictures You are Henry Stein, and you used to work for Joey Drew at Joey Drew Studios, drawing cartoons featuring Bendy, Boris, Alice Angel, The Butcher Gang, and maybe some others who the f*** knows. You quit for some reason, and 30 years later, Joey sends you a letter asking you to come back to the studio because he has something he wants to show you. You show up and find the old ink machine as well as a physical dead Boris. Finding the few items around the studio, you turn on the machine and release this hell spawn. <laughs> You try to run away, but the floor collapses. You find an axe and pass out. Chapter 2, The Old Song. You wake up in the music department where you wander around until you find these hell spawns called Searchers. You solve 300 puzzles to drain a staircase only to be knocked out by Sammy Lawrence, the old songwriter. He's become this inky monster who worships Bendy. He tries to offer you up as a sacrifice, but Bendy attacks him off screen. You run away and find a living Boris, and then you pass out. Chapter 3, Rise and Fall, aka Alice Fetch Quest Itis. You wake up in Boris's safe space and it looks like he's on your side. You both wander out into the studio and get separated. You arrive at the Heavenly Toys section where you meet Alice Angel. Alice appears to be Susie Campbell, who in the story of the game was the original voice actress of the character before she was replaced by someone named Allison Pendle. Now she's pissed and has turned into this hellspawn. You meet up with Boris and he finds that he's just one of many clones, all used by Alice to make herself look less like a half-melted Barbie doll. She monologues for about 60 years and then she gives you a few tasks to complete. You spend the next 80 million years completing pointless fetch quests while avoiding Bendy. She has you fight off these hell spawns, aka the Butcher Gang, and go meet Norman Polk, aka the Projectionist, who now looks like, guess what, a hell spawn. You either kill him with a Tommy gun, an axe, or just evade him. Or you can do what Markiplier did and run around in circles and hit him with a pipe a hundred times. After all that, Alice leads you to the elevator and says you can go home. Then she tells you to go f yourself and plummets the elevator all the way down to the bottom. She then steals Boris for her mascara or foundation or something and then you pass out. Chapter 4, Colossal Wonders. You wake up and wander around caverns and find this doohickey, which lets you use ink to create stuff. Neato. You come across these hell spawns. <laughs> called Lost Ones, who don't seem aggressive. Leaving them, you enter Bendy Land, a failed theme park built by some egomaniac named Bertram Piedmont. You decide Alice must be keeping Boris in the haunted house for some reason, and you complete two months of tasks to power the thing. Along the way, you kill this hellspawn, <laughs> aka Bertram Piedmont's weird-ass form. You also run into the projectionist again, who gets his head ripped off by Bendy. Very nice. Going into the haunted house, you find that Alice turned Boris into this hellspawn. <laughs> Who is out to kill you? You use the magic ink doohickey to make a weapon to kill Boris, but Alice gets pissy and runs at you. She gets stabbed by a second Alice and Boris, and you pass out. Chapter 5, The Last Reel. You wake up in a prison in Alice and New Boris' hideout. You are forced to watch 15 years of cutscenes. Along the way, you learn that this Alice is most likely Alice and Pendle. And Boris is called Tom, most likely Thomas Connor, who was a mechanic or something, and married Alice and Pendle. Allison gives you the seeing glass, which allows you to see hidden messages on the walls. The cutscene finally ends when Alice and Tom flee when Bendy appears outside. You use the seeing glass to find your way out and travel down a river on a barge while being chased by this hellspawn. You make it to a village where Sammy Lawrence appears, just slightly upset. Tom kills him and Searchers and Lost Ones appear to fight. The three of you fight for 50 years and you get separated. You vibe past the Butcher Gang and into the vault, where you believe something is missing. Allison and Tom show you the way to Bendy's lair, where the thing that you need to find is apparently. You leave them behind because they smell bad, I guess, and you go into the lair. You find a film reel and Bendy shows up, morphing into this hellspawn. 
He chases you around for two weeks and you manage to put the reel into the projector, which defeats the demon. We cut to an apartment where you meet Joey face to face. He basically admits he was a dick and then tells you to go to the old workshop because he's got something he wants to show you. You walk through a door and enter the hallway from chapter one and we cut to credits. There is an end credit scene where the camera pans by an old ink machine to this picture while a little girl says, tell me another one, Uncle Joey. Extra random stuff. A few other characters that appear but aren't important to the plot are fan favorite Wally Franks, a janitor whose catchphrase is, I'm outta here. Grant Cohen, the financial guy who seems to have gone a little nuts. Sean Flynn, the Irish toy maker. Jack Fane, the lyricist who became a fashionable searcher. Lacey Benton, a mechanic who worked on a Bendy animatronic. And probably some others from Bendy the Dark Survival, which I haven't bothered to play. It didn't seem lore important, so who cares? All the characters I mentioned before only appear as audio tapes, so they don't actually physically appear. After you complete the first five chapters, you can replay them with the seeing glass, allowing you to find hidden messages on every level. A lot of people think it's Henry, aka you, the player, who wrote these, and he's caught in some sort of time loop due to these tally marks and that they seem to know exactly what and where things go down. The whole story seems to be just a metaphor, a tale told to Joey Drew's niece about the fall of his studio. Then again, when evading the butcher gang in chapter 5, you find Joey's office where he has a tape and he asks Susie Campbell if she wants to help him bring Alice Angel back to life. Also, there's a hidden tape that reveals that Henry designed one of the cartoon characters most likely Bendy. Lastly, Briar labels bacon soup can be found frickin' everywhere, and you can collect them, but they don't really do anything. You just make a slurping sound every time you grab it, so that's kinda gross. Now you're caught up. On to the show. Also, before we get started, I'd like you to meet, uh, Beanbag. I got this wonderful creation at the mall yesterday, and because I've been told this one's a little scarier than the first one, Beanbag will be my protector. So, let's get into this. Here we go. We can choose a difficulty? I'm gonna go with the easy, because I... The thing is, I've never played Bendy on a computer. I only played it on console, and I am awful at video games. So I'm gonna go with easy. Oh, okay, cutscene, cutscene. Well, this definitely We're looks a little more... free to choose. Sorry. To believe what we want to believe. But when you step back... When you really look at where you've been and the things you've done, your past will come. Oh, this is Joey's apartment. To devour you. We were in Joey's apartment from the, from the end of the chapter five. Okay, so is this even even farther after that one? Noise. 1973, okay. June 18th, a month before my birthday. Hi, Audrey. Okay, so she she's a she's a cartoonist. She's the the artist words. There you go, little guy. And Aww. only 800 more frames to go. No way I'm getting through tonight without some coffee. Probably some downstairs. Oh, okay. Okay, now we're in it. All right, press E to stand. For a little adventure. So this is the okay. Locate the elevator. Oh God, hang on. How do I shoot? What did I do? Okay. Uh. Controls. Okay, I need sensitivity to go up just a bit. Okay. All right. Do it. Okay. E is open the door. Got it. All right. How do I? F where's the elevator? Oh, okay. So I can go that way. Can I run? Oh. Hello. Who are you? Nathan Arch. New character. Cool. That doesn't sound good. Hello? Thought I saw some movement. <laughs> Why is it so dark in here? Don't like that. ah. Who put this here? Who put this here? They did that a lot in the original game too. Hmm, drunks. Okay. Give me, give me my keys. Here's the key. 
Why didn't you take that with you just in the first place? And the Vendy thing's gone. That's that's great. That's really great. Can I open any of these? No. Oh, piss. Not the most welcoming hallway I've ever seen. Okay, I would leave, but that's that's just me. Can I open any of these? Hello. Hello. Is someone there? Okay. Mop and halls and all that fun stuff. I'm just gonna I'm a I'm a leave. Is there no stairs? Stairs seem faster. Please let me go. Okay. I really hate elevators, so this is just as bad for me. Don't tell me I'm gonna get stuck in this elevator. Oh, f Hi! Wilson. Wilson? You scared me to death. I'm sorry, my dear. Didn't mean to frighten you. Why do you sound You're like that? Late tonight. A pretty girl You're not like Wally you. Franks. Shouldn't be wandering around all by yourself. Mind if I step in? Uh, uh of course not. Thank you, Audrey. You look like you could use a little. Company. I don't like you. You were. Oh, Wilson. Wilson. Wilson, so, you were freaking me the f out. It's been really nice this past week. <laughs> Just beautiful. Gorgeous. What was that? <laughs> I am terrified of elevators. I cannot stand them. Oh. Let me out, let me out. Can I Thanks. Let's see what we can find. Come along now. Old Wilson will protect you. I miss Wally Franks. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. After you. Excuse, excuse me. No. I'm not going down there. Wilson. Am I supposed to? Oh, there's a block. Okay, I can't even go down there if I wanted to. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to talk to him. <laughs> hey! We are. This is my boy! Switches to throw. Follow me. It will be perfectly safe. Follow Wilson. Okay. Alright, man. Hi, Joey. So the studio, I guess, got picked back up after it failed? He died in 71. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely after the... the first one. Hey, here's the Alice poster. Okay, just a pencil and a dream. Ah, Boris's banjo! Abstract art! Bari! He's my son, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Boris is my son. Uh, butcher game. Yes. Oh, the pedestals. Okay, so so in the last game we had to put the the the, the items. There, there's a wrench. We had to put the items in the pedestals. Um, the the the, the book, the wrench, the cog, the inkwell, the vinyl, and the plushie. Okay. Looks like someone's been messing <gasps> with the exhibit. There's the ink machine. There should be something on each of these. Each pedestals. of these pedestals. Yep. Okay. 
Audrey, sweet Audrey, do an old man a favor and go find him. I'll tend to the power. Okay. Sure. All right, well. Come on. There we go. Poggers. Which one does that go on? It goes on this one. Pog champ. All right. Let's go, Audrey. We're going on an adventure. It's the, the vinyl. Okay. There we go. And the splunk. Okay. Where are we going? This cartoon format, silly vision. Okay, if y'all want to read that, you're welcome to pause it. I'm, I'm very busy. The Illusion of Living. There's Joey's book. Donka Shane. Can I collect more items? There's the ink. Poggers. Okay, I s hi Joey. Uh, I still need the cog and the plushie. Da, da, da. Crapola. Oh, there's the plushie. <gasps> it's so cute! I love you, funny little creature. Okay. I still need the cog. That's Is that in the ink machine room? Okay. Plop that little cutie down there. Okay, put you there. And you there. Okay, it's the cog in here. Cog. Hey, 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 Wilson, uh, you seen a cog anywhere? A gear? Am I just blind, or? It's so f***ing dark. I probably already passed it and y'all are screaming at me. Cog. Donde esta cog? Cog. Donde esta? I don't want to look up a walkthrough. Coggy. Mr. Cog friend. I should say that when uh, chapter one of the original game first came out, uh, back when like the items were placed in random locations, I literally could not complete the first chapter because I could never find all the items. I would spend like hours searching and searching and I could never find them. Is it up? On the ceiling? Why is the cog not existing? It ain't over here. Can I get a hint? Can that be the cog? How long does this take, Wilson? Cog. I can't really see. <laughs> Don't they stop? How am I blind? Don't tell me it's in here. Oh my gosh, that's why I couldn't find it. Great. In, in the original game, things would light up when you got near it, so that's probably why I didn't. Okay. Found it, Wilson. Slap that bad boy on it. Let's go. All right. Wilson, let me, let me. Okay. Hey, buddy. Only one thing left to do. Pull Don't. that switch. No. Oh, he's gonna turn on the machine, isn't he? Unleash all the hell spawns and. It is done. Wilson? Oh, Audrey. The things you've set in motion. Motherfucker! <laughs> the ink is calling us, my dear. Can't you? Stay back. Oh. Listen to me, Audrey. Pay attention to these last words. 
Die, that works too. Uh, frick. Um, is that just the title sequence or is that the end of chapter one? Hey, back to the normal color scheme that we all know and love. Because I've been told there's chapters in this one as well. Okay. Oh, fuck. Poggers. Ugh. What's wrong with my hands? Oh, Wilson knows your purpose. No. What's happened to you? Do you refer to yourself in the third person often, Audrey? Audrey does that a lot. Okay. Hello. Although things may be dark from the start, the truth will eliminate your way. Don't be afraid of who you are. Fear only what you may become and banish it away. Okay. What would I... Cool. Who's crying? All right, what, what, what are these? Okay. Here, Jesus. I guess I go up here then. Ah, that's what these are. Oh, oh, I actually have to, <laughs> okay. Hola. Notes. Jeez, you think I was drowning kittens the way people are looking at me. I've never seen so appointment in a person's eyes. But this is the way of things. If management can't pay their bills, then the bank tails the goodies back. Still, it breaks me a little knowing that I... Telly Wester. Where's Wally? Oh, great. I get to... Oh. Am I still crouching? Zoe! My dog is gonna bark at nothing, by the way. Among a young lady. Joey, Jack and I have been wondering if you could meet with us considering a current situation. We've been with you with many years and we feel we've contributed to the success of bending the past. Our interest is purely in keeping this company strong. We just want to help over Sammy No Is that my Jack Fain? Bring her to me. Oh shit Talkie mushrooms. Plushy! Hello. Gent parts? Okay, so... There's gonna be some, uh... Things... That are gonna come after me. Awesome. Ooh. Can I run yet? The ink drips. Darkness is spread through the studio. The reaching shadows creep around you. Something hungers for your corrupted flesh. It is close, so very close. If it strains to grab you, choke you from behind, it'll feel its breath upon your neck. It is close. Ugh. Yes, okay, so, okay, so. 
this. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Aha! Give me them. Hello? No, no, I do not. Okay. Okay, in, in chapter 3, the butcher gang came out of that thing, and I do not have a weapon. Oh! F <laughs> Jesus. Christmas. You've been given a makeover. Excuse me. I can tell you're, you're just you're just a little tense. Oh. Yeah. I just received the call. Joey Drew is dead. What a quiet end to an extraordinary life. Last I heard, he was staying in some cramped apartment downtown. You could practically hear the rats through the telephone when he called me last April. In spite of that, old Joey sounded quite happy when last we spoke. More like the excited, hopeful young man I knew once upon a time. <sighs> well, farewell, my friend. What will become of your creations now? Okay. So, Joey, Mr. Joey died. Cool. Another hidey hole. I love hidey holes. Oh. Hello. Any bacon soup? Uh. Left shift to run. Why did you give me that? I don't want to run. <laughs> Hello. Oh Jesus Christ! What was that? Did they close the door? Okay. Oh. I know where we are. Is that a bird? Hey, cool. My old hidey hole. I hid in here multiple times. Cool. Hey, a lever. Ah. Is it broken? Does this thing work? No. Can I come in? Oh, great. It's just what I love to do. Oh, f***ing hell. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. 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 Ah. Oh, my God. Whew. Can I just die in here? Thanks. Oh, God. F whoa. Low on health, grab a snack. So I mean dangerous situations. When you were low on health, you need to eat. Hidden food stashes. I can eat now? Oh, delicious. I wouldn't drink too Ugh. much of that if I were you. Oh! Just patch you up. But the Allison! It's not so good. Easy now. I'm not gonna hurt you. It looked like you needed some Allison. help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible place? Yeah, I remember my first day down here. I know, it's scary. But you're actually pretty lucky. The machine could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that, that thing that attacked me? No, that's a piper. And he's part of the a gang, piper. so be careful. I don't understand any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly, if you can stay alive. Lesson one. Searchers don't have legs, and they tend to swarm. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving, and stay close to the shadows. Are you Take gonna come with advice. me? 
Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm Why? Sorry. I have a wolf. He doesn't care for strangers. A wolf? That's your husband. Like I said, you'll catch on. Good luck. I hope we meet again. Oh, <laughs> and one more thing. Can I have a weapon? Above everything else, stay away from the ink demon. What's an ink demon? Oh, you'll know him when you see him. He likes Great. to smile. And he kills anything that moves. Great. Wait. What's your name? They Alice. Call me Alice. I'm but I'm no angel. Fond of it. No. Thought I, I thought Audrey. I could catch it. Well, Audrey. Welcome to the studio. Oh. What the? This this. Oh, this is chapter one. What? That's chapter one entr entrance. Okay, great. Can I pull this again now? F <laughs> me. Okay, so we're in chapter one now. Around here, it's best to stay out of sight. Don't ever go running into some place you don't know what's in there. If you attack problem head on, you're going to get yourself in trouble. That's just foolish. Got to watch, listen, and when the time is right, push forward. Okay. Well, I'm overly cautious in general, so I think that'll work. Can I shove this? No. Bye. <laughs> I want to fight. Is it? That's the end of that. Okay. Up we go. We're supposed to go up. Bowery! Angus Newman. Dale Little. Strange. Every time I come back to work, they put in even more of their pointless gadgets. Uh, last week, huh, they uh, they built some kind of I don't know electrical towers over near Animation Alley. This week, they added security codes for opening doors. Jeez, what kind of work do they think we do here, anyways? Last I checked, we make toys and silly cartoons. <laughs> this ain't Fort Knox. You know what I mean? Now. It's my job to look over these shipping invoices and remember a bunch of random numbers? Yeah, no freaking thank you! I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna record the dog code here so I don't okay. forget it. <clears throat> Alright. Code is 451. 451, got it. And if uh, Mr. Drew or Mr. Gray asks, you didn't hear it from me. Nope, shoot. Huh! Hello? Hi. Do you like jazz? I don't need that right now. Okay. Hi. My name is Audrey. Huh. I like long walks on the beach. It seems that Audrey oh, this in all its misplaced admiration. 
was so eager to absorb the life's work of that crooked charlatan Joey True, they didn't fully realize what they had acquired. Yeah. Call it fate that I just happened to be there on the loading dock that morning when the delivery boys dropped one of the crates. It smashed open, and inside there was something truly special. A mass of yellow steel and beautiful rivets. Some kind of machine. No one knew what it was. So the fools put it on display for all to see. But I could tell that this crude device held secrets. Secrets. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Hi. Don't, I don't want to go that way. Can I go this way? Cool, I can go this way. What the, go, go down. Oh, piss on my ass. There's no hidey holes. Oh, I pulled this lever. Cool. Huh. Hello? Don't tell me. No. No, it did not open the creepy one this way. Oh. He shut the door on me. Where is a hidey space? Keys! Where maintenance gate? Am I done with that? Oh, piss! Can I close it? Oh, piss. This looks like a cutscene. Oh, no. Oh, he's behind you. He's behind you. Audrey, girl. He's behind you. No. Me. Mm. Oh, fucking hell. Hi. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Mm -mm. Can I have another Heidi box? That's not Joey. Nah. Yes! Let me in! So how y'all been? Uh... <laughs> not wish to... I can hide in here as well? There's a lot of hidey spaces. Hello. Okay. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> My hand is on the shift key, like, constantly. Can I go in? Why not? Oh, there's a shiny thing there! Locked again? This is getting old. Well, f f how do I do that? Hey, I'm ready for something different in my career. I built steel companies from the ground up, dabbled in petroleum, even tried political office once. That Nathan Arch, they used to say, he's got the magic touch. Hang on. Management's come up with a new way to roar his employees. Instead of playing out bonuses, so over time they started handing out little tokens that you could spend at company vending machines. <laughs> but the best part about the whole thing is that within a week someone figured out how to make fake tokens at fools of any machine. We call started calling these fake tokens slugs. Cover the last time we've seen a real token around here. Them slugs are everywhere. Probably cost in the studio a ton of money and snacks alone. Good! Great! I'll take these slugs, thanks. Give me my 
Yes, Thank you. Suggest movies. Sure. Open a studio. Now I love big film as much as anyone, but the magic of animation. Now there's something special. My old friend Joey knew the thrills of bringing characters to life. Rest his soul. Maybe with a bit of elbow grease and a small cash investment, I can resurrect the past. What am I collecting all this stuff for? Is that a weapon? Can I take that? I know you're out there. Please answer me. Uh uh. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm okay. That's all right. Hello, Audrey. Hola. Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. Uh, Alice, I think you and I have very different definitions of all right. Where yeah. Are you? Animation department entrance, but it's locked oh. up tight. Good. That means you're heading up. Look for anything you can use to break in. Maybe there's a gent pipe nearby. Whoa! Oh. Oh. What was that? There's something in here. Audrey, I... find that gent pipe. Now. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna hide in here real quick. Hello? Oh. Ah! 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 E! 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 Hit the E button! Hit the E button! I'm doing it! Shaita! 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 I hit the E button! That's a pipe, right? There's a pipe! Ha! Hi! Uh... Oh no. There's the gem I'm, pipe. I'm gonna go with no. Way too dark in there. Yeah, uh-uh. Need to get the lights working first. Okay. Restore power. Alright, I saw where the power station was. I need food. Food? Food. 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 Poggers. Thanks. Delicious. Okay. Great. Okay, the power station was over here, wasn't it? Oh. F Let me leave. No. If I find you, I'm gonna rip your face off. Best way to avoid trouble is to not be seen. Or mean crouch and stay low. Okay. So stay crouched. Oh, piss. Balls and balls of piss. Are you just gonna vibe over there? Oh, man. Don't we shut up. Oh no, this is gonna make noise. Let's see if I can find one. I'm I'm kinda busy at the moment, Audrey. I gotta do like four million things. Crackers. On Cracker Island it was born. Hello. Okay. We're not alone down. Okay. Oh, great. It's in there. Ugh. These things make me so anxious. Oh, no. I don't want to go back in here. I just want to go back in here and die. Is that okay? I can't see where he is. Where did man's go? I'm not here. Oh, it's not even in here. Great! Damn it! He's right there! Oh, am I supposed to use this as like a peeky hole or something? Oh. Oh. He's so close. I don't believe in you. Leave me alone. There's no one here. Trust in beanbag. No one's here. How am I supposed to go if he's right there? I need the thing. Next person I see, 
I'm going to rip them apart. Just wait and see. Okay. I think my earbuds are messed up. Hang on. I think I think they're the wrong direction. Where did everybody go? Why don't Away they from you! Please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't see me. Mm-mm. No. I need to find the fuse, right? Why is it leading me here? What the heck? Oh, shit. There's ah! Oh my god! Where's the hidey hole? 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 Guy. Guy. No. No. <laughs> the fuse is not there. I can't do these kinds of games where you got to sneak around and stuff. Okay, I'm going to watch his movement for a while. I'm going to risk it for a chocolate biscuit. That's not the fuse. That's just a battery, isn't it? It's not a fuse. Oh no, that's not a fuse. That's not a fuse, is it? Oh. I thought that was the fuse. Oh god. Where's the fuse? Give me them crackers. <laughs> ah! I got nowhere I can go. I'm trapped. Oh, sh come on, come on, come on. Scheitza! I didn't know you were gonna come in there. What am I supposed to do? I don't know where the fuse is! Thing is, um, my brother Kyle told me I could call him for help if I need to, but he's at work right now, so like... <laughs> Where's the fuse? Where am I supposed to go? Find the fuse! <laughs> where is it? I gotta check this way now. What? What? <clears throat> Asshole! I can't tell where this man is! I'm not very good at games. I think that's pretty apparent at this point. But like, I don't know where I'm supposed to look! Because <laughs> at the original Bendy, I only was able to play it in like two hours because I've seen so many other people play it. Plus it's not like a very difficult game to play, but even then like I died a bunch of times at the weird hand grabby thing in the river. And I died a bunch of times uh, during the Lost Ones at Searcher's Fight in Chapter 5. I also died a bunch to the Butcher Gang a million times in Chapter 5. Just Chapter 5 is just one big death ball for me. Chapter 3 also died a lot trying to hide from Bendy. I have never been able to beat uh, Norman Polk, the projectionist, without the Tommy gun. Every other time he kills me at least once. dead. My health is so low and I don't know where any food is. I don't know what to do, guys. I might just end this first episode here because I have no idea what to do. I think I might do that because I don't know where the fuse is. <laughs> Thing is about me, like, I can't handle this kind of game, like, where you gotta sneak around and stuff like that because I am so anxious when it comes to that kind of thing. I never take risks. That's something else. I don't take risks. I'm awful at playing, like, card games, like, poker and stuff, because I can't take any kind of risk. So, like, in games where you don't have full vision, and you just have to trust on your sound, is hell. Because, like, in the first Bendy, whenever the Ink Demon was chasing you, like, you can see, like, the pulsings and stuff and where he was. But, like, in this one, you just have to rely on sound, and my headphones are really crappy, and they're actually the wrong way. Like, I put them upside down, and that's the only way the sound is coming out of the correct side. So I think I'm gonna take a break, and I'll try to get another episode out really soon once I actually Google where the thing is. Because I can't handle this. I can't do this kind of thing. It might be like one more step to chapter two, but like, we already did a pretty long intro, so I'm just gonna roll with this. You know I'm in here! Like, you can't be a freaking idiot this bad. Alright, so I guess I'll- I'll see you guys in the next one once I Google where the fuse is, cause I don't- <laughs> Protect me, beanbag! Okay, so I guess I'll see you guys next time! Um, <laughs> bye!